All right, handhelds. Uh, this is the 2DS. I think it was released. No, I'm thinking of the of the that the Wii Mini. That's a Canadian exclusive. This one I've never played on, but I, I believe it's like a 3DS, just less features and has like a one little chunk design. I never played on it. The 3DS XL, actually kind of good. It's, it's it's the same thing as the 3DS, just larger, but it has like longer battery life and a better display. So at least B tier, I'd say. The original 3DS, I still have mine. Great handheld. So many great features. Uh, if, if backwards compatible, which is also very important. Oh, game audio. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll turn it off. Uh, yeah, I love the 3DS. I think at least S tier. And this is oh, this is this is the um the DSi XL. It's again, following a similar model of just the previous handheld, just bigger. And there are no real benefits to this one that were, that were introduced because it was larger. But I did have one. The, the one great benefit was that on the game WarioWare DIY, where you can make your own micro games, a larger screen did help with drawing or like placing notes down. This one, it was just DSi, but bigger. So... Actually, I did love the Nintendo DSi, and I put that A tier. Original Game Boy. Oh, is that? Yeah, there it is, right there. Game Boy Micro. I have one of these, I believe. Yeah, I have a Game Boy Micro. I was thinking it just for the convenience of having a small Game Boy, so I can like play my Game Boy games when I went out, or as I can college, just move moving it about. It's great for the convenience. The L and R buttons are not the best. You have to click it in the innermost part of the Game Boy Micro to actually trigger L and R. Uh, but great for its convenience, has a headphone jack. I think somewhat good on battery. A tier. Game Boy Advance SP. Love this one. I remember, I think I remember in... When I was a, when I was like a, a real youngin, getting this had this thing had an Edda and Eddie game on it. I had Aragon for some reason, even though I've never read any of the Aragon books. Oh yeah, this was this was amazing. Um, at least eight here, at the very least. Game Boy Advance. The one major disadvantage of this one was the batteries. You, you had to put in your own batteries. Besides that, besides that, that was the only real uh, change between the original Game Boy Advance and then the SP. So the oh no, the actually the one disadvantage, the SP didn't have a headphone jack. You had to use a separate dongle. I would go into the charge port, I think, and then to use headphones. But it's practically, practically the same handheld. But that battery thing was annoying. Okay, thank you for that, Girth. Uh, Game Boy Color, similar thing. You needed your own batteries. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Game Boy Color didn't have any backlighting, so you can only play with it if there's light shining on the screen. That was a major inconvenience. Oh, he's almost here. Uh... 
Yeah, th that does knock it down a couple of pegs. Game Boy Light. I ne I've never played on the Light or the Pocket. I'm not sure what the real. I'm not sure what the purpose was of these inventions or these devices. Maybe it's like for more like like slimmer design, no batteries or something. I don't really know what, what the purpose was. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, oh, this is a, a new 3DS XL. They made a second generation of the 3DSs and of course made just a bigger version of the of the 3DS. Oh, he's outside. Be right back. Jokum72. Light had a backlid and was Japan only. Pocket was redesigned. Cheaper and smaller. Oh, okay. I just never played on them, so I didn't know. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> right, sorry about that. Uh, the new 3DS XL, never played on it, but I think the main point is that with the new 3DS, they had the Amiibo feature, longer battery, they had a little stick, little, um, little button thing above the A, B, X, Y. I'm not sure what it did, though. But I've actually, I've been looking to, to get a new 3DS XL, initially to homebrew it. Can never find one. Uh, never played and never played. This is the new. This is the new 2DS XL, I think. Or I, f I forget the name because there's so many. There's so many variations at this point. Nintendo's shooting the 3DS like Apple, where they make so many just. Uh, like duplicates and offshoots and whatnot. Let's see your Spotify or Apple Music year in review. I don't use Spotify or Apple Music. But I, I do know that that, that that thing exists. They do like a review, like a yearly review type of thing. Whatever this one is, I've never played on it. Oh, this is the original DSi. Well, oh, it's the same picture. I know I've noticed this often with these tier list makers. They often put duplicate um, pictures. They, they they put two of the same thing sometimes. Yours would be all Drake and NBA Young Boy. I now listen to Drake or NBA Young Boy. Like if um. It's kind of hard to classify my music taste. I just put all my music into a giant YouTube playlist of that's called like music that I like. And it's just all the most recent music that I like that I just add to it. Uh, like for instance, I have I have a uh, electric. I have video game OSTs. I have like European synth pop kind of thing. 
I have some old school rap. I have gangster rap. I have slow down versions of pop songs. 80s funk. I have sort of a mixed bag when it comes to my music tastes. Do you have What's Love by Fat Joe? No, even though you did show me that song, I was not... It didn't get me enough to want to add that to my playlist. But thank you for showing me. Oh, the DS Lite, I believe. This is the original DS. This one was amazing when I first played it. Specifically the Picto Chat. Um, I, I used to use Picto Chat with my siblings since we had our own DSs. We'd go into Picto Chat and just send each other messages and, you know, dumb drawings. That was so fun. And then the backwards compatibility with the with Game Boy, you can play Game Boy games on it. Fat Joe is the shit. Okay, now I know. When he talks about the gerbil in his ass, I never seen Eminem talk about that. I'm not. I'm not even an Eminem fan. But neat. Uh, in terms of of the the first DS, this was amazing. I would say, yeah, it was amazing. The sound fact. Play it. I mean, you could say please. I'm gonna mute it so I don't get copyrighted on the bot. Where's the part about the gerbil in his ass? Okay. She's making a lot of noises. Okay, I, I just heard the gerbil part. This doesn't sound like a traditional Eminem song. But okay, yeah, he does. He does talk about putting a gerbil in his butt. He was really fucked up on drugs when he made this. I would assume so. I would assume so. Uh, original Game Boy. The original Game Boy took four AA batteries to power it. 
it was super it was it was a true brick it was uh a, it had the truly like i think 80s 90s look to it brick heavy batteries uh but it's a classic it's a staple so its legacy can can be the the its a legacy can help it to look over its major downfall that song was interesting. Yeah, I guess funny in some parts about the finger and butt and stuff. But yeah, there it is. The Nintendo handheld tier list.